In this video, we are going to look at Venn diagrams, which deal with problems that involve using three sets. We are going to look at two parts to the question. The first part is going to ask us to fill in the Venn diagram, and then the second part is going to ask us to solve for a missing letter, which uh, outlines a missing section within the Venn diagram. So as we look at the question here, it's saying each of the students in sixth year in a particular school has WhatsApp, Instagram, or Snapchat. The numbers who have each app are as follows. Use this information to fill in the Venn diagram below in terms of X. So always good practice when you're doing these questions is to start by filling in the intersection first of all. So that's the middle region. Then fill in the missing letter, the X in this case. So we kind of need to start from the bottom here. It says that eight students have all three apps. So that's the intersection of all three. So the key word there is the all. So that's the intersection of the three sets. So I'm filling in my eight in the middle. That's the first one done, quite easy, hopefully. The next one I'm moving on to here is the X. X students have WhatsApp and Snapchat, but not Instagram. So I'm coming down to WhatsApp and Snapchat and I'm filling in X. Again, I don't need to do anything with the eight because it excludes anyone that has Instagram. That's why it says, but not Instagram. So that's the first two done, uh, not too difficult, hopefully there. I'm gonna actually gonna keep working up and it's good practice to cross off or highlight um, each time you fill in a section in your Venn diagram. So I'm now moving on to the 24. 24 students have Instagram and Snapchat. So the 24, who have Instagram and Snapchat would be this region here, which I'm highlighting in green. But I don't just fill in 24 here because eight of those students are already accounted for in the intersection. So I need to remove the eight from the 24 here, which brings me down to 16. So the 16 plus the eight brings me up to the 24. So 16 students actually have Instagram and Snapchat only. So that's the 24 dealt with, cross it off my list. I'm now moving up to the 14 students. 14 students have WhatsApp and Instagram. So that would be this region here, which is highlighted in green. Once again, eight of them are already included. So when I'm filling in my 14 here, I need to subtract the eight, which brings me down to six students who have WhatsApp and Instagram only. So crossing that off my list. I'm now coming up to the top three. The first one being 54 students have Snapchat. So 54 have Snapchat, I'm gonna fill that in beside it. Um, I'm gonna actually come back to that one and I'll show you in a second why. I'm gonna come up to the second one here, which is the 40 students. 40 students have Instagram. So I'm gonna just fill that 40 in beside the I here. And that's telling us that 40 have Instagram. So that's this full circle, which is now in green. Now to get the little region in here, what I basically have to do is I have to subtract the six, the eight and the 16, which are already accounted for. So I'm basically going to go 40 minus the six, the eight and the 16. And when I add them together, I'm going 40 subtract 30, which is giving me 10. So the little region here for the amount of students of Instagram only is 10. Now, the reason why I started with that one is because it didn't have an X involved in it. If I come back down now to the 54 students who have Snapchat, and I do the exact same thing here, I draw the circle around the full set, you'll notice here that there's an X in it. So it's a little bit harder. I have to subtract the X this time as well. So to get this little region in here, I need to go uh, 54, subtract the X, subtract the eight, subtract the 16. And, and be careful there, remember what I'm saying. I'm saying subtract each time. So I need to go 54, subtract. Now I'm using a bracket here because I'm actually gonna do it the same as up above. I'm gonna subtract the eight, the 16, and the X. So I'm using an add there. So I'm actually going 54, subtract the eight and 16, which is 24, and the X. Now remember, I keep saying subtract. So this subtract needs to be multiplied into the bracket. So it's like it's a minus one and you multiply in the minus, it turns a positive to a negative. So it's 54, subtract 24, subtract X. And 54 subtract 24 is 30 and minus X. So filling in my region, it's going to be 30 subtract X. Just be careful there that you don't have a plus X, it's a subtract X. 
Now, the next, next little section is very similar. I'm now looking at the final one, which is 36 students have WhatsApp. So I'm gonna fill in my 36 here beside the W, which stands for WhatsApp. Once again, the green highlighter going around it, this full circle must add 36. To get this region in here, which I, I don't know, I'll need to add the six, the eight, and the X, and subtract them from the 36. So I'm going to go 36, subtract six plus eight plus X. Add the six and the eight, you get 14 plus X. I need to remove the brackets. Again, you can do these different ways. If you don't use brackets, just make sure you put minuses in each time. That's going to give me 36 minus 14 minus X, which is 22 minus X. So I'm gonna fill that into my Venn diagram and that's going to be 22 minus X. And that's the first part of this question. It says, use this information to fill in the Venn diagram below in terms of X. In terms of X basically just means you have an X in it. And that's the first part done. Scrolling down now to the next part of the question, it says, there are 80 students in total in sixth year in the school. Find the value of X. So it's important here because they have to tell you how many there are in total. And if you think of what your Venn diagram is doing, if you add up every single region within your Venn diagram, it should equal the total number of students, which is 80. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna list them all out, add them together, and let it equal to 80. Now, it doesn't matter the order you write out your terms. It's up to you entirely. I'm gonna start here with the 22 minus X. So it's 22 minus X plus or and my next term, which is the six and the eight. So I'm gonna put those two in plus six plus eight. Then I'm going to add on the 10 and I'm gonna add on the 16. And finally, I need to add in the X and the 30 minus X. Again, good practice to highlight them because that way you will make sure you won't miss one. Remember what this equals. This equals the total amount of students, which is 80. If I add up the 22, the 6, the 8, the 10, the 16, and the 30, that makes 92. I then group the X's. I have a minus X. I have a plus X. That makes zero, they cancel. And then I have a minus X. So on the left hand side, I have 92 minus X is equal to 80. I need to then subtract 90 from both sides. Or sorry, subtract 92, yeah. So that's minus X is equal to 80 minus 92, which is minus 12. And change the signs or multiply across by a minus. So therefore, X is equal to positive 12. And that is the value of the missing letter X. So in this question, we've looked at how to fill in the Venn diagram and find that missing term. And the main things to take away from it is, like I said at the start, start by always filling in the intersection if you can. Secondly, then fill in the missing letter and then go from there.